particularly in the United States. You know, I went to these government websites that HRs use and I was like, I mean, one of the accommodations is they're not, they keep asking, fire them, find a way to let them go. Um, and so it's really, yo, yeah. And I have friends that are business owners who say the same thing. They're like, well, that's the law, but I'm going to not do the law because I want to do better. So it takes special people in a corrupt system. Um, and so I that's, think that's just the laws are more on the side <laughs> of an employer than an employee in this case, even though we have the IDA act, a lot of people are not, not only is it not being upheld, it's not being enforced. So like, you know, like I said, like I was, I love the line. People are like, Oh, businesses can't be biased against you. If they have a disability. Oh yes, they can. They can't say I fired you because you're autistic, but they can say it wasn't a good fit. Yeah. And so a lot of people they had don't. these these traits and stuff that stop them from these I autistic tra these traits that are not I'm not saying that are autistic they're just this no, it's person true, <laughs> right like it's like oh you're a weirdo you're fired and I've had companies do this where they're like we don't think you could handle the stress of this place and I'm like I've been here for three weeks and been fine hmm. so you know I it's where it's frustrating and I think right now workers. We're in this huge worker revolution that's starting, um, the great exodus of employees. You know, we have strikes, we have people unionizing, and I want to ride that wave with disabilities and accommodations and race and really bring it all into here. Because right now, the corruption of the workforce and business practices are coming. They're bubbling. COVID-19 brought it out, right? People lost their jobs. It was like a huge, like, I don't want to say S show, but SS show, you know, like mm -hmm. curse words, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. United. Um, because it's true. And I think part of what happened is, is that people are like, I'm done. Okay. Like we almost died because of COVID, like all this stuff happened. Like we need to change how we work. Sure. And there's this very, I don't think it's just American, which makes me sad, but this model of if you are poor, it's your fault. If you are, you know, you are mm. lesser, if you're not able just to blend in, if you're not able to fit in, there's something wrong with you instead of being like, Hmm, let's think of the bigger picture. Like what's going on. And I think that is where most people lie. Like people need supports, you know, it's not like diverse people, no diverse people. We just need extra supports. Doesn't mean yeah. we can't do the job. Sometimes we do better actually. Or, or <laughs> you know? different so I, supports. Yes. And so I think that's part of the problem is it's like, we're so focused on social construct. What is normal? And we all need money in this world. doesn't matter. Like if you're, you know, I don't I hate the terms, you know, mild, mild, I don't hate them. I yeah, yeah, I, mild, mild, like severe, or high, high, high functioning, functioning and low functioning. I high hate high functioning, needs. low functioning labels. <laughs> oh God, they use them all the time in workplace accommodations. And I hate it because the idea of functionality is so biased, right? But part mm. of functioning and being able to function is getting your needs met, which is an accommodation. So mm. I've had a few HR people make faces at me and they're like, I was like, that's why I got a degree in English. And they're like, <laughs> yeah. And then I'd never hear from the job again, but it was worth it. I I picked so, up I picked sorry. up one one thing from, from well not obviously just one thing but one thing really sort of put my ears up which was about um, the time needed for accommodations is very very long and yes. if you if you're saying that like it's eight months or above like kind of eight months or above kind of thing like most probations are you know in that time right. then that that's when they tend to need the need their support <laughs> yep. like, i had a school just, that just, said a year they would not accommodate me until i worked there for a year oh my god oh I, and that, I, that yeah. was for, for your probation as well well no they were like there's no probation we just don't give accommodations till after a year hmm. and like they had this whole timeline and that was the workplace it took me two weeks and i was so sick and i had to quit <laughs> yeah it's like i'm leaving and i will never work for a charter school again because of them <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have had plenty of issues with accommodations, but oh boy, did I learn charter schools. They're going to hate me. I can already hear them like boiling. But like the, this one particular charter school made it me really have a bad taste because at least the district tried to accommodate me. They at least tried to work with me. Like there was conversations to be had. Yeah. But never at this one particular charter school. So. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> 